Getting a retired police dog seemed like a cool idea, especially for Anna, a woman alone living in Detroit. But things went sideways when one night she hit the ATM and found a pair of sketchy guys blocking her way. It all happened quickly, but her pup's reaction? It was incredible. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. In Detroit, dangers like that annoying neighbor who won't quit knocking on your door and Anna? Well, she's had her fill of those encounters she'd rather forget. Being a young single woman, she's like a magnet for troublemakers lurking on the streets with their shady plans. To top it off, her husband left her and kicked her out of the place they shared together. Money-wise, Anna's state wasn't great, so she ended up moving to one of the sketchiest neighborhoods in town. It's one of those moments where life deals you a lousy hand and you just gotta tough it out and roll with the punches. That's not easy though. Since she moved to the neighborhood, she had been mugged a couple of times and more often than not, men heckled her. One time, someone even followed her to her home and she had to get the police involved because she felt so unsafe having someone lurking outside. Long story short, Anna felt very unsafe and there was nothing she could do to move to a better neighborhood. Luckily for her, the perfect fix landed right in her lap and from the most unexpected place. One day, Anna decided to swing by the local animal shelter. Feeling a tad lonely, she figured she might snag herself a cat for some company. But as fate would have it, something else caught her eye. In strutted a police officer with this wise-looking German shepherd in tow. Anna caught wind from the shelter staffer that the pooch was a retired police dog in need of a new gig, since nobody at the station wanted to keep her. Hearing this, Anna's light bulb went off. This dog could kill two birds with one stone for her. She butted in on the officer, introduced herself, and laid out her situation. She practically begged him to let her take the dog home, and the officer didn't bat an eyelash. Seemed like he just wanted to offload the dog without much fuss. Anna thought it was kinda odd, but hey, she was too stoked to give it much thought. The dog's name was Athena, and right from the get-go, Anna sensed a shift in how people looked at her when they walked together. Nobody was shouting her name or trying to hassle her. Even if someone whistled and she stopped, they quickly backed off and apologized. With Athena by her side, Anna felt like she had some kind of superpower. She felt invincible, safer than she had since she set foot in that neighborhood things were finally starting to look up. Back at home, Anna gave Athena the grand tour, but the pooch didn't seem all that impressed. Her tail stayed low as she sniffed around, almost like she was searching for something. Some habits really do die hard. At night, Athena was restless, pacing around the house even with Anna's door shut. Come morning, she was out cold on the couch. It was kind of weird, but Anna figured maybe Athena was just used to working the night shift back in her police dog days. Still, Anna knew she had to try and switch up their routine if she wanted Athena to be her daytime sidekick too. So, Anna decided to chill at home and wait for Athena to wake up before venturing out again. The thought of hitting the streets solo freaked her out, even though she'd been doing it for the past couple of months. But turns out, waiting was a smart move because she'd need Athena that night. By afternoon, the dog was up and raring to go. Perfect timing, because Anna had to hit up the ATM nearby and she always felt on edge doing that. And for good reason. Before we get into that, give this video a like to help it reach 10K likes and subscribe to the channel for more. That ATM was like a hotspot for robberies. Anna herself had been jacked there before and she knew plenty of others who'd fallen victim too. It was a prime spot for crooks because there were zero cameras and the cops hadn't lifted a finger despite all the complaints. But with no other ATMs nearby, Anna and the rest of the hood were stuck using it. As Anna and Athena strolled up to the ATM, there wasn't anyone in line, just a few sketchy characters hanging around. They were probably waiting for a juicy target but Anna felt safe with Athena by her side, and the dog was all ears, making sure nobody got too close as they did their business. As Anna walked away from the ATM, she felt eyes on her and noticed Athena checking behind them. It was pretty obvious someone was tailing them, 
but Anna kept her cool. Having Athena around gave her a sense of security, but she hustled back home nonetheless. When they neared her place, three shady-looking dudes with hoods sauntered toward them, and they didn't exactly look like they were about to exchange pleasantries. Anna froze and pulled Athena close. At first, the pooch didn't do much. But as the guys closed in, Athena started growling and flashing her teeth. That was enough to make the dudes do a quick 180 and beat it across the street. Anna breathed a sigh of relief, and once they were home, she showered Athena with extra treats. Who knows what would have gone down if Athena hadn't been there? This whole episode almost made Anna forget about Athena's weird nighttime antics. Over the next few nights, Athena's routine stayed pretty much the same at Anna's crib. She'd be super active at night, and whenever she heard police sirens, it was like she was waiting for a ride. It kind of bummed Anna out seeing Athena like that, but she hoped the pooch would settle into her new dig soon enough. She did her best to make Athena feel at home. One night, Anna had to hit up the ATM again, so she took Athena along for the ride. When they got there, two folks were already in line. One was doing their thing, and the other was chilling behind, waiting their turn. Anna wasn't about to stand there like a sitting duck, so she decided to take a quick lap around the block while the others did their business. When she swung back, the ATM was free except for this dude with his hoodie pulled low, standing a few feet away. Anna hesitated, but figured she'd go for it anyway. As she approached, Athena was all tense, checking out the guy, sniffing like crazy. Once Anna got her cash and stashed it away quickly, she could feel her heart pounding. She didn't have much, but every dollar counted for rent. All the while, Athena kept her eyes locked on the guy. Suddenly, he started inching closer. Anna's heart rate shot up, but Athena wasn't budging. Anna tried coaxing her, calling her name, and finally, Athena snapped to attention, growling at the guy who was acting weirder by the second. If he was aiming to rob her, he was doing a pretty lousy job. But when Anna tugged hard on Athena's leash, the pup finally got the memo. They were out of there. But the dude bolted toward Anna, fast as lightning. She let out a scream and tried to dart off, but he cut her off. She asked the man not to hurt her, and she told him she didn't have much. Clutching her purse and Athena's leash, she hoped Athena would snap out of it and scare the guy off. But no. All Athena did was growl a bit, nothing like when she chased off those other men. Meanwhile, the guy just stood there. Was he waiting for someone? Anna knew she had to bolt. She didn't want to stick around to find out what this guy was up to. She tried to turn away, but the guy kept rushing back to face her. Every time she tried to move, he blocked her path, getting closer each time. Anna took a step back, and when she saw the guy hold his ground, she figured it was her chance to make a run for it. Just as she was about to book it, Athena lunged forward, heading straight for the guy. Anna yanked on the leash, but that only made things worse. Athena started whining and tugging, hell-bent on getting closer to the guy. Then, in a shocking twist, instead of attacking him, Athena bolted up to the guy and jumped into his arms. The guy burst out laughing and caught Athena with ease. Next thing Anna knew, Athena was giving the guy a face full of doggy kisses, and his sweatshirt slipped down, revealing he was just some ordinary old dude. That's my pup, the guy said, setting Athena down and commanding her to lie down, which she did without a second thought. My name is Tom, he finally introduced himself. I used to be a cop, but I retired early. Athena here was my partner but I couldn't take her with me back then. Anna was floored, so that's why Athena was so interested in him. Apparently, Tom had seen Anna and Athena around and recognized the pup. He didn't want to spook Anna by coming up to her, so he played it cool. Clearly, he didn't play it cool enough. Turns out he just wanted to give Athena one last hug because he was super attached to her. They decided to grab coffee sometime to chat in the daylight, and Anna confirmed he was cool. They actually hit it off so well that she agreed to let him hang out with Athena a couple times a week to keep in touch. Who would have thought things would turn out like this? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe for more. Catch you later.